so today we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna hop in and uh, sort of figure out where some stuff goes here. So first thing I'm gonna do is get a good position for um, for my throttle. Uh, so I like the uh, push button that I came up with on the stick. It's nice and smooth, and I like. It. <coughs> All right, so if I'm just relaxed here and I've just kind of got my arms down by my side. I really want my throttle to be right there. So kind of where my arm is a little bit straight, just sort of in this relaxed position. And so I would say that's the spot. And like I always say, sometimes to find the absolute right spot, it's best to put it in the wrong spot. So you can sort of feel that's a, that's a reach. That's not very comfortable. And if it's too close here, my, my arm is my arm is back, so that's uncomfortable. So if I go back to just sort of my relaxed position here, and I just move my hand over, that's the spot. So so I really want it right there, and then I'll just kind of square it up um, once I get the first hole drilled. And um, I need to make a little mark here on this corner so I can locate it. All right. Now I can hop out super happy with uh, how the instrument panel looks here. Uh, it looks really good. Everything's really accessible. I'm glad that I set it back a little bit and didn't have it right on the edge. That way I don't have to worry about those bolts that are going to be here. Couldn't really go over top of them anyway unless I was going to raise this up further and I wanted it to be as low profile as possible and I think this actually accomplished what I was after. So. Um, yeah, okay, so now let me hop back out, but before I do that, I think I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mark, kind of get a feel for, for where I want my pedals to be. And one thing I've learned in my tail dragger training is my, uh, you know, my toes are on the pedals and not my whole foot. Um, so I want to kind of maintain that posture of uh, flying with my toes so I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing again I know I just said it but I'm gonna go too far the wrong way this is definitely this is definitely not what I'm after um, and I'm gonna go too far by stretching my legs out too far uh, I don't have very good movement there at all so it's gonna be somewhere in between and that actually feels pretty good to me right there. Again, it's a nice relaxed position. My knees are slightly bent. And with my shoes on here, what I'm gonna draw is I'm going to draw the, um, just the underside of my, of where my shoe is. Let me just make a mark here. pedals to be probably be a couple inches further, a couple inches forward of that mark. And that should put my toes, <clears throat> put my toes on the pedals rather than my whole foot. All right, let me hop out. All right, so I got that. I got the screws through from the uh, from the back side there. So let me hop over here and uh, now what I've got to do is uh, I'm going to come and countersink these, and then I will uh, will be 
um, in a position where we can actually get some epoxy on this uh, uh, this plywood and actually get it glued to this side wall here. So um, that'll be the next uh, the next step for that. So let me get these screws out, and then as soon as I get the uh, screws out, I can. Uh, All right, so I've got the uh, got the countersink here, and uh, we'll hop down here and just uh, make sure this is uh, handled. Just grab a screw so we know when we're there. There. Now the next thing to do is uh, I'm going to put some epoxy on here, but I'm going to attempt to keep it away from this area and, and away from right over these holes and that way when I when I put this on and tighten it up I won't have to uh, uh, be concerned that um, I won't be able to get this back off so uh, um, get the screws out how about that I don't want to get this off but <laughs> I'd like to get the screws up so um, let me mix up a little bit of epoxy and then I'll get this going here. All right, so let's get some epoxy in here. All right, so we're all set. Uh, we're all set there. We've got uh, got that epoxied in place. We'll take out those screws while the epoxy's still a little bit green, I believe, just to make sure we don't glue something together that we don't want. And the uh, screws are all kind of nice and uh, nice and flush to the outside here. Um, it looks like maybe this one could be countersunk just a touch more. These two are really good. That one probably could just use a little more countersinking. Uh, which we'll do after everything dries up. So, uh, yeah, super cool. Um, it looks uh, looks really nice there. So, all right, and to get that the way I wanted it, all I did was measure up from my floor just up to uh, up to the screws here to make sure they were basically level. Um, so, but any at any rate, it's in a position that I'm super happy with anyway. So. And I'm still kind of examining, um, probably behind, behind this, I'll end up slipping a, uh, uh, a piece of aluminum. I'll figure it out. I'll probably need a mount somewhere um, for, the, uh, for the cables, but they'll more than likely come off of this vertical right here. So um, that's it for that. Um, so the next thing... I was going to work on was actually getting the uh, I want to get the choke um, lever in place so I'll grab that and we'll see um, 
where we want to position that. All right. And I did want to say the whole point here is that uh, I need to get everything that is uh, um, attached to this wood structure. I want to get it all in place um, before before I varnish it all. So I've got those mounts. Uh, I've got this next one to do. I've got uh, uh, I have my elevator trim mechanism to build, which will we'll probably lay that out uh, here shortly um, as well. And then uh, there's some other other things that have to go in place um, back here uh, where the where everything routes through here uh, where the uh, static ports go uh, will require some blocks where the elevator trim cable mounts to this side uh, this side over here we'll need some blocks on these diagonals to screw those into I try and add a small block triangle block or something wherever I'm creating a hard point to screw um, uh, either something that clamps something else um, like a cable guide clamp um, without screwing into the actual structure so uh, of course everything you add becomes structure but um, instead of the original structure I like to add a little something extra just for those screws to go into so all right so having said that Let's get that piece out here and see what that looks like. All right. All right, so this one happens to be right here. And uh, we'll figure out what size hole we need, but it's not gonna take a, a serious amount, just something uh, probably just use a piece of mahogany plywood here for this. Let's get something made to cut that. And let's see here. This is a plain dural knob control. Uh, I think the six foot piece uh, was on a long back order, so I ended up buying the eight foot piece. And uh, whenever we figure out how much of it we need, we'll be trimming it off anyway later. Uh, but for now, we'll just uh, we'll just get this part kind of taken care of. So uh, this will just come out all the way. So that's how we'll actually get it to screw on to the piece. So I'll get a piece of scrap mahogany, and I'll show you. Um, Basically, it's going to end up going somewhere just forward of the throttle here. If the throttle's all the way in the forward position, I'm imagining that it's going to be somewhere right about here. So uh, we'll end up mounting to the um, to this side of this member. Uh, of course, our spar carry through bracket will be up here. It'll come down about an inch and a quarter, so I want to be plenty below that. So I'll be down close to the uh, just forward of the throttle handle is uh, what I'm thinking and then my elevator trim will actually be just aft of my throttle assembly and uh, that will uh, show you next so uh, all right this looks like it's either a 3 8 or maybe a half inch hole So I'm just going to drill a 3 8 hole in something and test fit it. All right. All right, so I determined that there was just going to be too much flex potential with the 8 inch mahogany. So I'm actually going to switch to a piece of quarter inch mahogany. So the first thing I'll do is just put my mark here. I just picked an arbitrary location about how far I think this needs to be from the edge of my 5 8 uh, member. And this felt about right to me so plenty of clearance and uh, and then what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll just make a just a radius here for a reference point just for now
All right, so we'll test that in there. Perfect fit. So we're all good there. And uh, as far as the uh, size goes, um, I think I'm going to come off of this about uh, maybe maybe make it overall an inch and a half. So I'll go kind of three quarters and three quarters this way. and then we'll make a radius there and we'll try out a mixing cup for that all right that looks good let's go cut that out So now it's time to get back in. feel really good about the control stick that just feels super comfortable um, so we have the mixture and the throttle right there and so when the stick is back wherever it'll be I'm sure we'll end up putting a stop on the uh, on here somewhere but for now let's just assume that it's here and this is forward I've got the uh, got the setup kind of put together here. Now we'll just figure out exactly where we want to put it. starting um, so it wouldn't interfere in any way so then I would pull the choke of course I would be doing this from the outside of the airplane but uh, and I actually think I can I can come over about an eighth of an inch closer to the sidewall um, 
but that actually feels pretty good. Uh, if I get a little closer, I really can't fit my finger in there very well, so I think I've got it right. As far as the height goes, um, I don't want to interfere with the throttle here, so I'm actually going to come up a little bit so that my hand would miss it altogether. So that would be the location. And that actually seems like the right spot. Um, it's in there, and I'm working the throttle. I'm nowhere near it. Um, it's just kind of down here, out of the way. And maybe I'll just come up another, just about a quarter of an inch. Um, I can still see it. I've got a good line of sight to it. Um, so I don't have to lean over uh, to see it there. It's plenty out of the way. Yeah, I think right there. Got a line for that. Let's pull this apart. Now we get back out. All right, so we got the epoxy on that, and uh, get this all lathered up here. clamp on it and that's where that goes all right so now we're going to start looking at the uh, looking at the elevator trim and uh, this is just uh, this is similar to one that I had done before uh, and what it is is uh, well, the important thing here is that when this is flat on here, we can't actually touch the sidewall, which is good. We, looks like we can't. We're just right kind of against it. So that's good news. Um, if for some reason we have to change this out for a knob, we'll do that. But I kind of like this particular handle. Um, but we'll figure out if this is enough material to do it. If not, we'll add a piece to it to uh, make sure this is available to us. It looks to me like it should be fine, um, but we won't know until we really get it mounted. So um, what I want to do is I want to take the cable off for now. So I'm just going to try and spread this part right here and see if I can get that off of there. All right, so now I've been able to get the get the cable out. Really, these these just kind of crimp in on it, and the reason that uh, I took it out is we'll be using a much longer cable, obviously, uh, cable housing to get us all the way back to the uh, back to the where the rudder is, where the rudder is, where the elevator is. So then we're gonna we're gonna put this on here and figure out how kind of where we want to mount this. And what we'll do is, uh, I think I'll leave about a quarter of an inch on the top and the bottom. So I'll go from the very bottom of the whole housing here, and I'll go about a quarter of an inch. And so the whole thing will be covered. So right now I'm just kind of laying it out, and then I'll go um, just a little bit beyond here so we cover all the housing and everything. So, just a total guess here. It's not. This is not critical. This is what looks right to my eye. So, um, this looks pretty right to my eye. 
So we're going to have a part that looks basically like this. Just like a rectangle. And the way this, uh, the way this works is, uh, if you can imagine it, when I pull up on this, um, because I want to go, I want to trim the plane up, it's going to pull, it's going to pull on the tab on the elevator, and the tab is going to go down, which is going to make the elevator go up. Um, you have to really think through that and understand how that works, but when the trim tab goes down, it's going to make the elevator lift. When I go, when I push down on this to trim the nose down, the tab on the elevator is actually going to go up, which is going to make the um, tail go down, make the nose go up. So, all right, all of that. <laughs> so now um, I'll go cut this piece out, and then we can uh, we can figure out where we want to put our mounting screws, um, and we'll uh, we'll get this going here. Okay, so now we've got our sanded sanded piece. Uh, it's cut off and sanded, and now we'll take uh, we'll take this and we'll get this mounted where it needs to go. And to get it centered, that's kind of off center. We're actually going to have we are going to have to come up a little bit, and that's going to raise this about. Probably an eighth of an inch, but that's going to be fine, so that won't cause us any problems at all. If anything, we'll end up putting a, we'll just put a little spacer under here and put a screw in it just to hold it off. But all I want to do is, um, I want to mark where I want these holes, uh, which are about there and there. And there's already a kind of a dark line where the middle is. So we'll just take our center punch and we'll uh, make a punch right there. And right there. And let's get a drill bit. screws in here. Okay, and then it looks like we're about a couple washers, uh, just a couple of washers thick here. So I'm um, gonna use that hole for kind of a rear anchor. So seems like the right height. Uh, could be. Actually, I think two is probably perfect. So now I'm just going to drill a uh, 
another pilot hole right here. That gives me a nice, uh, nice rear anchor, super solid. Uh, everything looks really good, and that's what we want. Now we will um, we'll get a piece of aluminum, and uh, we'll we'll make a uh, cover for this. So. So that will be, let me get a couple of quick measurements here. And then I'll probably, probably not continue um, today, but I'm just gonna measure this just so I know. So we're basically, inch and a quarter is gonna be the, uh, the depth on the ends. And we're going to be three inches inside diameter this way. So, inch and a quarter, three inches, inch and a quarter, and that gives us uh, all the clearance we need. Yep, inch and a quarter clears this with plenty of space. So what will happen is this will get mounted to the sidewall, and then the aluminum cover will get screwed in uh, to the top here and to the bottom, and that will hold that will hold that in place over this whole assembly. And then I'll have uh, uh, my elevator trim will be right here. I'll be able to rest my hand on it if I need to, when I pull on this or when I push it down. Um, and that should be awesome. And then the only other thing we'll have to do is actually figure out where, you know, where this is gonna end up being in the cockpit. And I'd kind of like it to be somewhere just behind the, uh, just behind the throttle, so so it's close by. Um, probably, I'm guessing, it's gonna be in this range anyway, somewhere like this, so. All right. So, I'll make that cover next time, and uh, we'll get that, uh, we'll get that taken care of. So, I've got some, uh, um, other things uh, to do, we've got this laminated um, now, so this piece is actually the leading edge piece that goes on here. And we'll get that uh, cut to shape and uh, we'll be able to, once we get that done, and then we cut these two spars here, and we'll be able to just assemble this uh, stab. So, um, thanks for hanging out with me and uh, checking out this portion of the video. I see uh, I've got a glue drip to get after underneath there, so I'll get this uh, taken care of. But hey, we got the throttle quadrant in. Um, we got uh, um, the part for the choke, um, the mount for the choke in place. And we got our elevator trim assembly started so and I did take a look at it it does stand off nicely from the sidewall so this will be great yeah so um, if you're not a subscriber I invite you to hit the subscribe button follow along hit that little bell so you don't miss any episodes and hey I'll catch you later